Hey everyone, welcome. Hello, I've missed you. <laughs> I know it's been a couple of weeks that I was, well, that I've been able to share and I apologize for that because a couple of things. Um, I had visited my mom um, last weekend and that was a lot of energy and a lot of um, work, if you will. Um, so preparing for that and making sure that all my work was done so that I could travel six hours via car to go and see her. She's in Pennsylvania. I'm here in Richmond, you know, <clears throat> and then of course recovering afterwards and I'm not an excuse maker, but I also like, let's be real. There's only so much that we can do. And as much as I've wanted to get back on here and create another message, I really haven't even found the time to breathe to do it. So I'm really excited that I can get on here today and share with you guys. So welcome. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for being a part of this with me. And I hope that you are having a wonderful day. Um, today, I wanted to talk about, obviously I've got the Santa hat on. So the best gift that you can give to yourself. Okay, so I've been buying gifts for friends and family and uh, making them, of course, as well. Um, I've been working on a couple of different things um, and cards as well. A lot of you guys know that I enjoy making cards. And uh, so anyway, the best gift that you can give to yourself. So I've been thinking about gifts that I can give to other people, but then I've also been thinking about, hey, what, what's one thing that I could do for myself that would... Um, be an investment in myself, you know, to make me a better person in the next year, in 2018. <clears throat> so, the best gift that you can give to yourself and to those around you, okay? So, not just all about you, but all about the people that you interact with on a daily basis. Friends, family, co-workers, etc., right? Those people that come in contact with you constantly. Even the person in the toll booth, or the banker, or you know the clerk at Target when you're checking out in line and there's people everywhere because it's Christmas season, it's the holiday season and everybody's buying gifts. <clears throat> the best gift that you can give yourself and those around you is your own health and wellness. And I wanna kinda explain this to you a little bit. So, or explain, you know, in detail where I'm going with that. Um, I had a new client that I'm working with and she had, her mindset was on point in terms of she came to the realization quite uncomfortably, painfully, if you will, that if she doesn't take care of herself, she cannot take care of her family. She had thrown her back out. She's not, she's shy of 35 years old. Um, and she realized, oh my gosh, I can't love my family like I, like I want to. I can't care for them like I want to because I'm laid up in bed, you know? And I thought that that was a really, really a prime example of the fact that if we do not take care of ourselves, we literally cannot take care of those people around us. And so I think a lot of us have this like really beautiful, like self-sacrificial um, kind of sense about us, but and at the end of the day, again, if we don't take care of ourselves, if we don't have what we're looking to give, then we can't give it because we don't have it, right? Logically, it makes sense, but a lot of times we still fall into the place where we're saying, other people's needs need to come before my own, I need to take care of them, and so on and so forth. But at the end of the day, if we don't take care of ourselves, we really can't entirely expect somebody else to do that for us, right? That's our responsibility, we're adults. We are here to, we need to take care of our own needs and so that we can do the things that we can do. <clears throat> so about that, you know, whenever you're thinking about your gifts for this holiday season, I just wanted to kind of put a plug in here to encourage you to consider investing in yourself, consider investing in your health, your fitness, and your wellness. I have a six week program that I have put together um, that I would love to share with you the details on. Um, it is of course not only about the physical body, but the mental well-being and the spiritual body as well. So it's a holistic 
approach to fitness and lifestyle. So if you'd like more information on that, please reach out to me, send me a message or leave it in the comments, whatever, whatever works for you. Send smoke signals, I'll see them, <laughs> you know? Um, so the second part of this I really wanted to dig into and this has been really bothering me lately. So I went up to Pennsylvania and I visited with my mom and, and those of you that are connected with me on social media have, you know, saw my post about that and, and my internal processing and my introspection about that and saw how, you know, I came to a place of acceptance that, hey, maybe my relationship with my mother is not quite what I want it to be, but it's something and that's something to be grateful for. And I just feel like, who am I to judge my experience against other people's, you know, like that is where I'm kind of segueing here. So um, my mom got the chance to reconnect with her longtime best friend. And it was beautiful, like I wanted to cry, like ball, you know? And um, like they immediately, of course, recognized each other and everything. I don't recall the last time that they saw each other, but it was just really cool. Like they're both in their 50s and they've, been, they've known each other since like seventh grade. So all that being said, both of them had negative things to say about them, their own selves. And I'm over here like, oh my gosh. I just, it, it, it brought me back to a place where I'm realizing how much, and I don't think it's just a woman thing. I think it's a woman and man thing where <clears throat> we're looking down on ourselves in a certain way. You know, let's say it's with physique in this case, you know, oh, I just, I feel gross, I feel disgusting, like, I need to change some things, I need to lean down, I need to do this, I need to do that, like, I should be, you know, more fit, and this and that, and it's like all of this degrading crap, and it's like, from somebody else looking in, they're saying, what are you talking about, like, you're beautiful, like, I understand if you're not entirely happy where you're at, but I love you, and you're beautiful, and I mean, you're healthy, right? You know, <clears throat> those kinds of things. So I'm over here saying, when can we stop talking so negatively about ourselves? Like, so if I can just put a plug in there to, you know, remind you maybe like as you're catching up with friends and family over the holiday season, like, yes, most of us eat a little bit more. Maybe we eat some more fatty things, some comfort foods, some eggnog, whatever. It's about that experience. It's not about, oh, what's the nutritional value of this? Oh crap, it's not good for me. Oh, I feel terrible. Like, can we get out of that mindset and just say, you know what, I am a human being. This is kind of part of the transition of the seasons. You know, I can allow myself some space to embrace these celebrations and, you know, once these celebrations are over, then we can transition into, you know, just focusing back on how life was before all of the seasonal changes started happening, right? Like, what, Halloween? So, how, what are ways that, that we can actually talk positively about ourselves and our situations, okay, or exactly where we're at? So lastly, I wanna talk about New Year's resolutions. <clears throat> it's right around the corner. So I know a lot of us maybe aren't even thinking New Year's yet, but maybe it's in the back of your mind. And what I really wanna just touch on is that instead of forcing yourself into some kind of like crazy detox and you know, 21 day workout plan that's every day, it's a challenge and this and that, we're like five days into it, you're like, oh my God, I can't do this, like my life can't sustain this, that kind of a thing. Um, just think about like what has worked for you in the past and maybe what hasn't worked for you in the past. And again, like I'm offering that six week program to really actually be a sustainable, enjoyable lifestyle change 
for you. So it's it's catered precisely to what your variables are versus saying, okay, guess what? You need to do X, Y, Z, and this is your formula for success. And that's great for a lot of people to kind of get started and get involved and like start moving their bodies. I'm, I'm in support of that, but a lot of times it's not ideal for each individual person. So reach out to me. I'd love to just like discuss with you what your goals are, what you would like to accomplish. And then of course, you know, just explore whether it be a fit to work together and how I could help you towards the things that you really want to see for yourself in 2018 because it's not this microwave mentality. It's not a 21 day, you know, do nothing but eat salad and, you know, drink green juices and, you know, forebode any social activities and work out 24 seven. Like it's not those things. It's what works for you. So I would love to discuss it with you. Have a wonderful holiday. If it's Christmas that you're celebrating, if it's Hanukkah, if it's whatever, enjoy, take the time to be present, love the people around you, family, even if they're difficult, friends, all of the above. Take time to be present and I will talk with you soon.